Hello everybody, uh, it's been a minute since I've posted, um, I've been busy honestly, I was busy writing this thing, it's a 450, new to me, I uh, re recently acquired this 450 from a good friend, he is out of commission from writing for a minute, so yeah, I got the opportunity to take the 450 from him, and it's been a blast honestly, I've been writing this a lot, I've been writing it at big tracks like Streets of Willow, I've been writing it at a bunch of car tracks, Apex Adams, I even went to Button Willow Kart Track, which was very fresh and new. And yeah, um, I put in like five hours within like the first few weeks of riding it. And yeah, I even raced it actually. So a lot's happened with the 450 in the past month, I want to say. Um, the Aprilia, it's been dormant. It's been sitting. It's been plugged into a trickle charger there. Um, I haven't ridden this ever since end of CVMA, round 7. So yeah, um, the bike starts. I did start it, I want to say yesterday or two days ago. Um, no problem. And yeah, it. I think it is ready to be woken up again because I'm going to ride it next week. I think I'm going to take it to Button Willow. I haven't, you know, ridden Button Willow in a while, especially with the 660. Actually, I haven't ridden Button Willow, the 660, as currently constituted, which means that it's in its race form. But anywho, uh, today I got my camera because I am going to do some updates on the bike. It's a notorious one. I think I made a video before about it, complaining. However, I it's not resolved. I need to put on this damper it's an imu damper as you can see it has this like rubber spring action i've been getting that stupid um alarm error because the ec or sorry imu goes out of whack when you have too much vibration or i want to say too much even g-force i think because i noticed that i trigger that whole like dash alarm when i'm either hard braking or i'm going into this crazy banked like you know a turn like the bull at chuck walla where you know gives you a lot of g-force um that's when the stupid imu error triggers so this is on the list to do gotta put it on it should work i've read from many and other people who have had the same error issue at chuck walla and other racetracks put this on said it fixed the issue so that's one of the things that needs to get done to the aprilia second one again um i made a video about is the stupid shifter joint so this is the updated one um this cutout right here this line that goes horizontally this is longer than the one that i have i actually compared it um to the shifter joint whatever thingy that i currently have on the bike that it came with um this is longer it should you know as i tighten it with the security bolt here it should tighten it more and shouldn't it shouldn't come off the issue i had with this on the current one is that it came off literally like during track day so it could have come off during a race but it came off during a track day but yeah two things to update um and the bike should be good to go so yeah let's tackle this task down Alrighty, so the first thing we're gonna work on is this i'm pretty much swapping this out with the updated part so here is the comparison as i've mentioned the line that's cut out is way longer and yeah um the issue with the current one is it this doesn't tighten around the spline hard enough so look, look how loose this is if I were to yank it hard enough, it'll come out. Like, it's come off before. So, I have to undo this. This bolt right now, um, the stock one just comes with a single bolt that just goes through. Uh, because it's been coming off, I put a longer bolt with a nut, a nylock washer nut, um, to hold it. But it's still coming off. Anyways, um, two bolts and super easy, quick swap. So, let me do this quickly. Alrighty, so the updated one is now on. Again, another comparison view. So earlier I showed you how loose this one was, like how it would actually like shake uh, while it's wrapped around the spline. Now check it out, the updated one does not even freaking budge. Like it's solid, it's perfect, I love it. Um, just did some test, you know, shifting up and down while on the bike. I think I found it. Next on is to put on the IMU damper. I need to use some of YouTube magic. Um, I'll be back. I need to actually remove all the fairings. I need to remove the front fairing, this entire thing, because it's a single piece. You know, under the tank cover, under the tank, tank in the back there, lift the tank, and then I can get to the IMU of the bike. So 
I'll be back in a second. Do some YouTube magic. Bloop. Oh, damn it. Didn't work. Only the front got off. I still gotta do this side. All right, all right, let me try it again. All right, so YouTube magic worked. All the fairings are off here. I got the tank slightly cracked open using a rubber mallet. Um, I have access to the IMU now, so that right there is the IMU. I can shove my four millimeter Allen, undo it, and then put on the damper, so. Yeah, this thing, I guess, receives too much vibration because I think, I don't know if the camera's gonna show, this is technically like right above where the rear shock is. And also, the header, or sorry, the exhaust and the header is also bolted, or the mount is bolted onto the engine itself, which is obviously connected to the chassis and so on. So I'm guessing it's the combination of both probably hard suspension, creating all that vibration, and also, your exhaust, uh, especially if it's like a shorty, something that's very bassy, um, it will cause vibration and I think it throws the IMU out of whack. So hopefully putting on this damper will stop causing issues or error lights because I'm fucking tired of it and it bugs you. It actually cuts the performance. Uh, the map changes to like the second map, which is the conservative map, and you actually lose some horsepower and whatnot. I don't know, that's what some people say. Some people just say it, you know, just turns off your, what is it, first engine braking map or something, and reverse to two, which is like the basic, you know, minimum baseline, whatever you call it, the safe one. But anywho, let's get it. I hopefully could just, you know, do it quickly, easy peasy, and I'll be ready for button willow. So there you go, guys. That's what I wanted to show you. I'll show you the after product after I install it. Alrighty, so the damper is on. Uh, that's what it looks like. You can see the little rubber springs, so look. If I press on it, it'll bounce. Kind of see the concept. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, I mean, I don't do street riding anymore, but I've noticed that people who are street riding with newer phones, like more modern phones, the sensor goes out of whack due to vibration. And they've come up with these phone mounts where they have this like dampening, like rubbers. This is pretty much the same concept. It's bouncing like this. So it's actually kind of bit elevated off from the subframe or the plastic tray of the subframe. So now it is not in contact with the actual chassis or part of the chassis that's all interconnected. But yeah, um, I'm also gonna put a dab of gasket maker on the nut here, cause I try to tighten it with the wrench, but because this is a plastic, you know, damper that's just put on or hanging on with these rubber springs on four sides, um, I can't get a good leverage and I don't wanna twist it off and pop it off the rubber grommet or the rubber spring. So I hand tightened it, I uh, can't talk. I hand tightened it as much as I can. And now I'm just gonna put like a little gasket maker on top just to make sure that this nut doesn't ever unscrew due to the vibration that this bike is notoriously known for. So yeah, um, so yeah, that was it. Uh, I'm not gonna show you the process of putting the fairings back on. It's a race fairing, nothing special, super quick on and off, I am gonna be wrapping up. But anyways, um, I will do an update uh, with the IMU damper to make sure that, you know, it didn't cause any error lights. I'm tired of seeing these Christmas tree light on the dash. And yeah, we'll see. And then also I'll make sure the joint, the new shifter thingamajigger is nice and crisp and doesn't give me any issues either. So yeah, be on the lookout.